Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal is the typewriter effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, it's a bit of a setup. There's no real typewriter effect in Premiere Pro, but I'll show you how we can use it through Dynamic Link and After Effects. And the reason I put this together is I get the question uh, every now and again, how do I do a typewriter effect? Apparently it's very popular in other editing programs. We can do that directly through After Effects. It's not as difficult as you think. And we can update things directly in Premiere Pro by using text templates. Let's have a look. So I want to have some typewriter text go across here with breaking news. I'm going to do that by going to the file menu, Adobe Dynamic Link, and creating a new After Effects composition. It's going to be the, uh, the size of the, the video that I have here. I'll click OK. And if we go over to After Effects, you can see it's, it's asking us uh, to save this. So I'm going to save this as my typewriter. And now we have nothing open, but we are directly connected between Premiere Pro and After Effects. So if I just type some text here in the middle, and I've got some on my clipboard. All right, and we go over to our effects. And if we just, if we type in typewriter, drag it on top of this and hit play, you can see it's working. And in fact, if we jump back over to Premiere Pro and drop in that comp, you can see that we get the same typewriter effect right there. If you're trying to change the text in here, you can't until we go back to After Effects and in the composition, we go to that particular comp and change the composition settings in the second tab, the advanced tab, template. Unlock text layers are editable in Premiere Pro. Now click OK. There's no lock on here. And because this is dynamic link, when I go back over here, now when I click once on the effect and then go to my effects controls on the left hand side, this is the right hand side of the effects controls for the clip. This is the master clip effects. And now you can see Holy smokes, this is really cool. And now it's a typewriter effect directly inside Premiere Pro. All right, there you go. It's a typewriter effect in Premiere Pro using Dynamic Link and After Effects as a backdoor. I didn't change the After Effects text, by the way. It still says breaking news, and I'm just updating it here. If I want multiple versions of this, let me just show you that real quick. First of all, let me get rid of this audio. I'll shorten this up. I'm holding Alt on Windows, uh, Option on the Mac, and dragging this over. And now I've got a set copy. You can see on the left it's duplicated. So again, if I come back over here and change this back to Breaking News. So now I've got two versions of this, both using typewriter effect, both completely different, connected that way. All right, so there is your typewriter effect in Premiere Pro using Dynamic Link and After Effects as kind of a backdoor, but we get it done. If you found this informative, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial, or there's a special link in the description just for you to download your trial version. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.